reason for Indy coming all the way back? Um, they made some big shots, you know. Um, that's all I can test to now unless I watch it and see, but. Just emotionally as a team, are losses like this that much harder uh, to take, uh, just being in the position that you were in? Um, you know, this league, you can be beat any given night. Um, and tonight we got beat and we on to the next one. Get ready for Wednesday. Uh, Russ, uh, game is. You, you seem to have a lot of energy in the middle of the third quarter into the fourth quarter. Um, what was sort of your mindset in the second half tonight, and, and where do you guys think you kind of um, maybe lost that as a team? Um, just hoping. That's it. That's all. Each and every night I just try to have fun, embrace, enjoy the game. Russ, momentum is such a fickle thing, and I'm sure like, if you could actually put your finger on it and, and, and change it, manipulate it, any team could do it. But when, when you start feeling it, getting away from you as a team, what are some of the things that you're thinking about that you can execute to try to change the, the tide there? Uh, it just depends on what's going on in the game, honestly. Um, kind of reading and reacting to the game, kind of seeing what's been working, what's not, um, kind of goes into my thought, pro thought process. Any more questions for us? Russ, defensively, um, you, you mentioned their shot making, but but was there anything that, that it seemed like you guys couldn't turn the faucet on? I'm sorry, turn the faucet off in particular. I think uh, in the final 10 minutes, they scored like something like 32 points. Scored on, I think, eight of the last nine possessions. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't have an answer to that one. David, and yeah, just for us on the, on the final sequence, uh, you know, they get the shot to Turner, he misses, and then what do you think happened from there? Like, do you think that was just Halliburton making a nice play, or what do you think? Um, I haven't even seen it, okay. um, so I don't know. I watch it and see it at some point tonight. The job done, but given his dominance and the stretch that he's been on, understanding it's not just about numbers with AD, but it's about the impact. Um, you look at a night again like tonight. He started off just four points in the first quarter, got going. He had 14 in the second, ended with 25. But D. Fish, one thing's really hard for me to wrap my head around, though the 13 rebounds, just two shots in the fourth quarter from Anthony Davis. That's just not going to get it done when you talk about the success and what this team needs to become in order to be who they want to become. Yeah, I mean, it's a tricky, like, the, the fourth quarter played out so strangely that I think now when we look back on it and we see only two field goal attempts for AD in the fourth, it feels like, what the hell were they thinking, mm -hmm. right? But during the course of the quarter, at some point they, they were ahead <laughs> by double digits. 17, yep. You know, so it didn't necessarily feel like, oh, okay, we have to feature a particular guy. Like, let's just keep the ball moving. You know, let's keep the energy in the game. Like, we're starting to take full control of this game. Uh, but at, you know, there were definitely some possessions where, you know, didn't get the type of shots that you would want. Um, but, yeah, it's, you know, hindsight always is, is 20, 20. And And what we've seen from Anthony Davis recently, we feel like we should have gotten more from him tonight. But this was just more of a collective team letdown. I think in particular more so on the defensive end than anything, just – too many easy shots for the Pacers when the game was on the line. Is this one of those moments, Rob, where when you do have a lead like that, to Fish's point, but you understand or recognize the game might be turning, that momentum might be shifting, where it's kind of a, a learned, maybe, behavior as a team to understand who needs the ball, where to get the ball to, or is this something of one that has to take on that, that ownership? I think this, if you look at how basketball is played now, that's how we play it. You know, mm -hmm. we come down, we gun it. Um, we don't have a go-to play. Um, guys come down and says, oh, I haven't taken a shot, I'm wide open. And it's, you know, three, four, five seconds into the shot clock, they take the shot. And you have to have an understanding of the game in the fourth quarter. You know, you get up 17, everybody says, okay, we up 17. I can take some shots. Oh, I can get a score because, you know what, we have AD and LeBron and Russell on the team, so I can take a bad shot here and there. And you got to understand, it's not about, you know, taking a bad shot and getting your shot. It's about putting this game away. You have to put this game away because we always talk about load management. 
you load manage within game so you don't have to worry about it when you for another game. And you go to AD and say, you know what, we gonna make we gonna do, make this team feel bad. We're gonna demoralize the team and just pound it inside and get easy buckets. You go up points, and that's all we used to do with Shaq. We didn't care if we was up 15, 20. We're going to punish you on the inside. We're going to make you feel bad. So next thing you know, we're looking, you putting your subs on the bench, and then we're going to put our subs, and we're going to load manage in that sense. And if you watch the Lakers, they don't know how to just beat the brakes off of someone. They want to come out and take threes because that's the way the game is played. Sometimes you just need to get points in the paint and just chip away at, at teams. And next thing you know, they're broken, and you win the game. And they're not able to do that. Against okay. Yep. Yeah, no, no, no. I was going to say, in particular, when you're ahead, mm -hmm. uh, like, that, that's almost the time to become, like, you know, Phil kind of used to challenge us. Like, it's almost like a surgeon, right, where, you, like, you start to take your time with each deliberate decision on just putting the team away and putting the game away. Don't fall in love with quick or early shots when the momentum is in your favor. Where's the advantage? Yep. Right? Anthony Davis, advantage. You know, maybe LeBron in the post, advantage. Russ was effective at times, but don't get too far away from what you know will give you a great shot opportunity and a chance to get back and get your defense set to keep the Pacers out of transition. I think they had 23 fast break points to the Lakers 9 tonight. Again, just another kind of example of how much this team has to go in terms of becoming a, a team, a cohesion, one unit that chemistry building. Let's go back downtown. Russ is speaking with Mike in the media. The teams that they're going to play against, if you give up two home losses, mm -hmm. and, and then now you have to go out and win games on the road. But the, the good and bad part about this league is there's literally another game either tomorrow or the next day after that. And the best way for them to get rid of this one is to come out and just get the win on Wednesday. That's all they can control at this point. This one's over. Can't do anything about it. Can't do anything about the road trip. Only thing you can control right now is how you perform on Wednesday. Yeah, the thing about this is, you know, we've been in this position, position before. When we hit 70 games and we look in that position and jockey, like, you remember that game mm. in the 28th? And we was up, and, and this is what we don't want to have. And this is, these are the games you've got to win. You're at home, you're protecting your field, your home court. And, and the Lakers sometimes lose sight of that. They lose sight of how you need to win the games at home. You got 41 games at home. You shouldn't lose no more than 10, 11 games with this roster. You got to think, you have to have that mindset. You got to be in desperate mode saying, we can only lose this many games at home. And on the road, we can only lose this many games. I don't think they have that mindset. And, you know, you got a heck of a road trip coming up. And all these teams are teams that are going to be playoff teams in the East. And so you got to go in there with a mindset like each one of these games is who we might be playing in the finals, so you got to go out and play these games hard. 